All right, what's up guys? Driving to Toronto, secured um, a big bulk deal. It was like 100 shoes, about 100,000. And uh, decided to drive down to Toronto to pick them up. So I gotta check everything, make sure everything's good. And then I'm gonna drive it back to Ottawa. So I'm doing this solo, but I'm gonna link up with Nick. Um, you guys have seen Nick before, he came with me to SneakerCon. And yeah, we're gonna do this 100K uh, cash out. Got a bunch of stuff, there's like Off-White Chicago's, Jordan 1 Fragment, bunch of size 11s and 10 and a half. This guy's whole collection is selling me his whole collection. Everything's brand new. Everything's gonna be available in store, which is gonna be sick. So we actually have a lot of clients that are size 11. New special shoes for them, so I think people are gonna be really hyped. Finish the drive, I'm about like half an hour away from Toronto. We're gonna hit up Yorkdale Mall just to see what's up, go check out some stores, and then, yeah, go cash out. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along. A Yorkdale drink, 11 bucks, but it's a sick color. Everyone knows blue is my favorite color, so we had to do it. I got Nick out here. I ain't getting no $11. Nick's not about the, the cold juices. Time to cash out some bread. Yo, I run in these, hey? Dude, they're fast, they make you go so fast. Are a hundred pairs of shoes gonna fit in here? We're about to find out. To the brim. Forgot my truck. To the brim. Yeah, I don't think any more shoes are fitting in here. Like, I feel like I should keep them, but then like, I don't know. Use them as like Air Forces. Yeah. Or like metallic greens. I showed them, and someone was like, "Oh shit, those are the Amy Leon like Dior ones," and they look the exact same. They look the same. They don't have it here. Yeah, but they're and they're way cheaper. These ones go for sixteen, like the Amy Leon Dior ones go for sixteen right now. Sixteen? Yeah. That's crazy. And these are like we sold ours for so cheap. It's like an old man shoe. But they look, you kind of look like the LV trainers, no? Yeah, a bit. What do you know about these? These are brick Air Forces, but they're a three M. So when there's flash on it, that's gonna be oh, fun. What the fuck are these? Those we actually bought for a client, and then he never bought them. It's okay. uh. Not Lord of the Rings. What's uh, a TV show with the dragons and the witches and the Game of Thrones. Uh, it's Game of Thrones collab. All right, now for the best one. Oh, should I keep them? Oh. Funny story. So these were one of my good friends, Navad, and he actually put these in our store, in our very first store when we opened it, just to have like a sick shoe. And it was this exact shoe that was in our first store. Then he had me ship it to a buyer because he had sold it and it actually went to this guy that we cashed out today. And this one is like, see a little bit yellow? Like a tiny bit. Yeah. And Navette was like very uh, particular about yeah. making sure they weren't yellow. So he was kind of on our ass to like keep them like away and everything, but we wanted to like show them. So they got a little bit of yellow. yellow. So maybe he even just like hooked up the guy with a better price because of this yellowing, but the issues yellow super easily, so you kind of just have to like deal a with it. A lot of off white ones do though. And when they were in store, I wanted to buy them, but like didn't have any money to buy. Them. You gonna NDS them? Mm, probably not, but I might keep them because this is the most hype shoe that's come out since uh, I started reselling. Bro, GS sizes are like 25K. Pretty clean. It's kind of rainy, but I'm gonna do a little intro while I'm outside and everyone's staring at me. But yeah, we're at a, like a little, we're at HQ. We're at a Donda CLB event. So that's pretty fun. Our friend's DJing. We know most people here. It's gonna be a good time, but we have a flight tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to Halifax. So we haven't packed yet. So that'll be good. We'll see. We'll see where the night takes us, but that's where we are right now. So we're gonna go back inside. Scorpion King, I'm the Scorpion Prince, you know what I mean? Uh, I rubbed the village on my on my forehead. That's my village. Oh, fuck, you're diehard, eh? I'm a fucking, that's my village in here. Chemistry building over there. The bunker where we used to study. You ready? <laughs> you need a Red Bull. 
The best Pretend thing. Pretend I didn't take a bite. Okay, the best thing from Coburg Coffee is the vegan coffee cake. Whoa, Whoa they gave it to you with a bite. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Some guy just took a bite of it. I used to get it all the time. That with a burrito, bean burrito. Ooh, the bean burritos cheese. are fire. Chocolate chip, bagel. Ooh, with peanut butter. Honestly, it's the avocado toast for me. Okay, this one's I don't remember super it, unique though. though because it's almond butter and avo. Sounds a bit skeptical, but like What'd you get? Americano. That was my first house. It's Adoraz, the greenhouse. There's a lot of mice. I think that neighbor had a cat that was super chill. The cat was good vibes. He would come into our house sometimes. I love the vibe. Climatic. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Little backlash. Another GT ball. Some chug mine. Oh, we're doing a quick 180. Ooh. Oh, we're going into the fog. Ooh. This lighting's kind of fire right now. Tuna, crispy rice, shrimp, and coconut scallops. It actually, looks really good. Are you going for a taste test? <laughs> Get that shot. Oh. Alright, let's yeah. see some behind the scenes here. <laughs> Set it up. <laughs> Set it up. Alright, so you gotta get the, the drinks over here, the little oysters. Uh, isn't it? Can you go like this? No, I mean, like, oysters. Okay, okay, when yeah. can I eat? Not yet. We need to cook this here. Oh, place. Gotta be some balance. Boom. Pop it. Mix it. Oh, yeah. Tartar action, you know? It's so good. Yeah. You ready? How is it? Fire? Ooh. That's the stuff. Oh, yo, yours looks juicy. Yeah. Yours doesn't look juicy. Yes, it does. It looks good. It looks good. It's so good. <laughs> but look, look how juicy that is. I had to go for the lobster roll. And of course, top it off with some mimosas or two. Break it. Oh, that is super hot. Is that just egg? Oh, you can't break it. It went, it went off with the fire torch thing. Oh, here we go. I'm so excited. The tear shop is um, a zero waste grocery store and I used to go all the time. And before, like they have one in Halifax and like right now we're in Dartmouth and they just opened this one. So I'm gonna go in and see. I'm so excited. Where are you going? Yeah, I actually um, never had Thai food before having this. This is my first Thai spot. We got a bunch of stuff, and then we're gonna bring it to Lee Hong's house, which is like across the street. Which is where we used to live as well. Yeah. It's rainy, but it's actually kind of a vibe. Very Halifax to be Wearing the rain jacket with the camo pants. Mine isn't very practical. Same as it's yeah. just for looks. It's a cropped rain jacket. <laughs> um, spring rolls, tofu. I mean, not tofu, pad thai with tofu. Another pad thai with tofu. And then this is called cashew chicken. You don't have any more stone? No, I don't, but I can, I can maybe get more, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I have Very excited. This looks bomb. I'm stoked. Fired up. <laughs> I wanted it to work. These ricotta pancakes are so yummy. What's up guys? I feel like I'm always filming my outros in my living room. It's probably because I forget, but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and our little trip to Halifax and Andy buying somebody's whole sneaker collection. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.